Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're going to be bleaching my roots and I'm really excited because I actually was not planning on filming me bleaching my roots just because it's so repetitive, but I was in Cosmoprof and I saw a new lightener. This is from Danger Jones. If you did not know, the people who created Danger Jones are the same people who created Pulp Riot. They sold Pulp Riot to L'Oreal a few years ago and then they created a new brand called Danger Jones. I have tried the Danger Jones semi-permanent color line. It's pretty much the exact same thing as Pulp Riot. I'll leave a link to that video up here in case you're curious about the Danger Jones colors, but they also released a new lightener. So this caught my eye immediately and I was like, you know what? I have to try this. I know it's a professional product, so it's harder for the majority of us regular people to get our hands on, but I will try and find a link to it on Amazon and leave it down below for you guys. It looks like it's gonna be very, very comparable to the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me. Right on the front of the container, it says Lightens 9 Plus Levels Pre-Dusted Formula, and it has Bonding Complex in it. On the back of the bottle, it says Powder Lightener with Bonding Complex. Lightens 9 Plus Levels, Cool Toned, Infused with Bonding Complex and Specialized Seaweed for Healthier Hair Appearance when used with Danger Jones deluxe cream developer so I did go ahead and pick up their 20 volume developer and they were actually having a sale where if you buy the lightener and you get a 20 volume developer you get the 20 volume developer 50% off which I didn't know that they're running that deal but I'm glad I grabbed the 20 volume so I do have the pair to go together here for directions it says in a non-metallic bowl mix one to one or one to two ratio with five to 20 volume developer on scalp five to 30 volume developer in foils and five to 40 volume developer for hand painting techniques. Process at room temperature up to 50 minutes. Do not use heat to reduce the processing time. So you can process for up to 50 minutes. I mixed my ratio one to one and a half. That's how I normally mix my lightener with the Schwarzkopf one. This seems very, very comparable. So I decided to mix it up the same ratio I normally do with my regular lightener. So this is what it looks like. It's very creamy. It's a little bit thick. I'm curious to know if this is gonna swell because the Schwarzkopf lightener does swell a little bit while processing, which can be very annoying. Most stylists don't like the swelling aspect and will switch to a different lightener because lighteners that swell obviously is gonna cause a little bit more breakage. It's gonna swell down the hair shaft, cause overlapping and banding and a bunch of other issues. So that's one thing about Schwarzkopf. It does swell a little bit and expand. So here's what it looks like mixed up. Like I said, I am using 20 volume dedicated developer from Danger Jones. The packaging is super, super cute. It's like this really pretty floral wallpaper design. I think Danger Jones packaging, they're like up there with like the top four designs and packaging. They have the coolest packaging on all of their hair dye and even their bleach is really cool. So let me section off my hair and we'll go ahead and start applying. Um, obviously we're only bleaching these front two pieces, but I do have a lot of regrowth. It has been quite a while since I bleached my roots. So they are in need of some retouching. And if you have not seen my previous video, I did a color remover on this back section. So this is what we're working with back here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and section off this front part so we can start the application process. Everything is now sectioned off. So let's go ahead and start applying the lightener. As it's sitting, it is getting a little bit thicker. So hopefully it doesn't get too thick to where I need to add more developer. It did say you can mix it up a one to one ratio or one to two ratio. And I mixed it up in between there. So I can add more developer if I want to. I don't know why I decided to do split dye, front half blonde, back half like brown, because this is so annoying to have to touch up my roots because I have to be so careful not to get any of the lightener on these back sections. I'm just gonna start at the top of my head and we're gonna see. So this does not smell like the Schwarzkopf lightener. Um, if you've ever tried the Schwarzkopf lightener before, you guys know it has a fragrance to it. It kind of smells like perfumey. Um, and I personally like that. Normally I don't like it when bleaches have like a perfumey smell, but the Schwarzkopf one, I got used to. When I first tried it, I did not like the perfume smell, but over time, the more and more I used it, the more I enjoyed it. And it kind of does help to mask that smell of like a very strong bleach scent. So I do like that about Schwarzkopf. This one does not have any sort of fragrance at all. It just smells like a normal lightener. I will say it doesn't smell super strong. You guys know some lighteners smell very powerful and it kind of like 
takes your breath away. This does not have a super like strong fragrance to it at all. It's very, very mild. So far, the consistency is super easy to work with. And I'm trying to just apply it on my regrowth because I do not want to overlap this and cause any more damage. So when I'm applying lightener, I like to apply it in the top and bottom of each section. So as you guys can see, I apply it right here on the top and then I also applied it right here. So now when I take this section and then I apply it on the back side, so you guys can see I'm applying it on the bottom too. You don't have to do that, but I like to make sure my hair is thoroughly saturated, especially when you're dealing with lightener. Gotta make sure you don't miss any spots so that way it's not patchy. So I just like to do top and bottom of each section. We're gonna see how this makes my scalp feel because I don't have a lot of oils accumulated on my scalp right now. Normally, if I know I'm gonna bleach my roots, I try and wait to wash my hair so that way like oils accumulate on my scalp and it doesn't cause as much of a scalp sensitivity. But I recently washed my hair so I don't have a lot of oils accumulated on my scalp right now. So we'll see if this bleach is good for sensitive scalps or if it does cause any sort of tingling on my scalp. Hopefully this bleach is good because I bought the whole freaking container of it. <laughs> so far, so good. I'm not having any issues. The consistency is very, very, very smooth. It's like a nice icing consistency. It's not grainy or powdery at all. It blended together very easily when I mixed in the developer. You guys know what I recently started watching again? If you watch my Instagram or you follow my Instagram, then you probably know. But um, I started watching Gilmore Girls again, and I don't know about you, okay? Some people love Gilmore Girls. Some people hate it. I personally love it. It's very cheesy, very like family oriented and like, you know, it's just like a very wholesome, cheesy show, but I personally love it. And I feel like when you grow up in an environment that's like not like that, I don't know, I personally like shows like that because it's like, you know, seeing what like a wholesome family type thing would be like. I personally love Gilmore Girls. I've only ever seen it one other time and I watched it probably back in like 2019, 2020. I watched it for the first time and I liked it back then. And um, for me, when I think of Gilmore Girls, I think of that show to be like a fall winter show, even though obviously they have all seasons throughout the show. Overall, the show reminds me of like Christmas time and Thanksgiving and stuff. So if I'm gonna like watch it, I try and watch it during holiday season. So I just started watching it again and I'm in the middle of season two right now. Um, and I freaking love it. My husband does not like it at all, <laughs> which is okay because I love it. Like it just makes me feel so warm and tingly inside. You know how like Christmas time makes you feel, you know? Like whether you like Christmas or not, you get those fuzzy feelings and like that wholesome feeling. That's exactly how Gilmore Girls makes me feel. And I feel like when you don't grow up in that type of environment, I crave watching shows like that because it kind of shows me in an alternate universe what my life could have been like, you know what I mean? Or like, you know, it just makes you feel good watching that show. It's not junk TV. It's like wholesome and cute and stuff, but like not too innocent, you know what I mean? But I really like that show and I started watching it again. And also you girl started Christmas shopping because I told you guys I don't have any Christmas decorations and just like Halloween girls go crazy for the decorations and start shopping in like July, these Christmas people are also insane. I don't know if you guys know about it, but last year Walmart released these like six foot tall nutcrackers <laughs> and they sold out and they went viral on TikTok. Well, this year they brought them back, but they brought them back in all red and in all white. So you can like paint them whatever color you want. They released them in September and they're already sold out. Like I was too focused on Halloween during uh, September that I totally missed the Christmas train. So I had to, of course, buy them from a reseller because this is what I do. With Halloween decorations and with Christmas decorations, I normally have to go on Poshmark, Detop, Depop, Mercari, and buy things from a reseller and it pains me and I hate it and I always wind up paying like twice the original cost of the product because freaking resellers go out there, buy them because they know they're trending and then up the price, like double the price on them. And it makes me sick, okay? It's one thing 
to have something that's viral and you just don't use it or you don't want it anymore and sell it. But that's not what these people do. These people know what products are going viral, go and buy them in mass quantity and then resell them to make an extra buck. And I freaking hate that because not everybody has the extra money to buy them at resale value, you know what I mean? Thankfully, I've been saving for Vlogmas content and stuff. So I have money set aside for um, like Vlogmas and decorations and Christmas decorations. I've been saving my coupon money and stuff throughout the year. So that way I can afford to buy Christmas decorations. Um, but not everybody has that money and it really irritates me. You know what I mean? It's like not fair to those people who don't have the extra money to pay double for something. So anytime I think about buying something just because it's viral, I'm always like, no, because I don't really want it. I want it because it's like hyped up, but do I really want it? Not really, you know? So most of the time, whenever I see like a viral thing at Home Goods or something, I leave it because I know whoever finds it next is gonna appreciate it and be really excited about it. And I don't really need it, you know what I mean? Like somebody else will value that product more than I would have, so I just leave it. But the amount of times I could have bought stuff in Home Goods and like resold it and gotten a lot of money, but I don't because I think about the people who don't have the money to buy things at double the value and so I just don't buy it. But it really irritates me and if you do that, stop. Okay, stop. Like I understand that you have to make money too, you know, like that's a good livelihood for a lot of people is doing resale stuff. But at the end of the day, at least that's how my brain works. I think about the people who you're impacting and like, yeah, you might make a lot of money off of it, but you're also like, I don't know, making people sad who can't afford it and really wanted it. And I know that's the world we live in. It's like tough shit, you know what I mean? Like that's the world we live in, but it don't know, I don't know. I could never do that. It would make me sad knowing that I'm selling something at double the cost just because I can versus letting it sit on the shelves and have someone get it who really is excited about it. That's how my brain works. And I guess not everybody's brain works that way. And a lot of people are like, oh, I could make good money at this. And so they do it. Okay, so far, I'm not having any issues with the lightener. Super easy to apply, super smooth and creamy. The Schwarzkopf one is definitely darker, like a darker blue color than this one is. This one is a pretty light blue, but it is very easy to apply. It's just like super soft like icing and it glides onto the hair. You know what I love about Gilmore Girls? I love like gimmicky TV shows like that that don't include laugh tracks because I love shows like that, but like half of them include laugh tracks in the background and that totally ruins it for me. So I'm glad that the producers decided to leave out laugh tracks. Like they don't have to enhance the jokes that they tell um, with laugh tracks to try and make the audience think it's funny. They're like, if it hits, it hits. And if it doesn't, it, does, it doesn't, you know what I mean? And I can appreciate that because if Gilmore Girls had laugh tracks, I would not be watching it because I get too distracted and it makes it not funny. If you know of any TV shows like similar to Gilmore Girls, let me know. I, I know Mariah loves um, New Girl, I think is what it's called with, is it Zoe Deschanel or whatever? I think she's in that, um, so I might check that out, but I don't know if there's laugh tracks in that or not, and I really don't even know what it's about. But if you know of any TV shows similar to Gilmore Girls, definitely let me know. Also, I did see, like what, last year, the year before, there's a new Gilmore Girls with the same actors. As soon as I'm done watching all the old seasons, I'm definitely gonna watch the new ones. I'm sure it won't be as good, but the fact that they got the old actors to participate, I'm very excited about it. And I look forward to watching that. If you guys have seen the new one, don't give me any spoilers, but definitely let me know if you liked it or if you didn't like it. All right, everything is applied. I am experiencing a little bit of tingling over here on this side of my scalp and I can feel it swelling a little bit. So let's flip all of this over and check out this side of my hair and see what's going on over here. It has expanded a little bit, but nothing abnormal. It does look like it's lifting pretty well. I'm gonna let this sit for like 40 to 45 minutes. I wanna make sure it's light enough. So I'm gonna set a timer for 40, 45 minutes. While that timer has started, I'm gonna go back through, cross check, make sure I did not miss any sections. I'm going to wash this off and I will be right back so we can see how well it lifted. I'm gonna set the timer for 45 minutes, but I'm probably gonna check it every 10 minutes because if it is light enough, I'm not gonna let it sit any longer if it doesn't have to be. I mixed up less than half of a scoop and I have 
so much product left like this whole bowl is still full of product so it does go a really long way with application i did have a decent amount of regrowth and so i would say in the future i probably only need like half of a scoop of lightener um, and i probably will still have some left over another thing when i went to go use the developer it has the squirt top on it which i am obsessed with it's so much easier to measure accurately with the little top with a hole on it. So you just go like this and then squirt it out versus like pouring it in there. A lot of the time with pouring, I accidentally go over the amount of grams I'm supposed to use. So I love the squirt top. Again, a replication of the Schwarzkopf developer. They also have that. Um, so I do love that. I'm gonna let this sit. I will update you guys if anything happens during the processing time or if it gets to the point where it starts hurting or anything like that and it's above a mild tingle, I'll come back and let you guys know. But if not, I will see you guys in just a second once this is rinsed out hopefully it lifts light enough all right you guys i am back i just washed conditioned and put in a little leave-in treatment here are what my roots look like i think it did an amazing job at lifting my roots again no toning or anything this is just raw platinum lift so here's what it looks like there really isn't any banding. It did a great job at lifting my hair. I'm very, very pleased with this lightener. I would say it's pretty much a dupe for the Schwarzkopf lightener. There are a few differences. The Schwarzkopf one has fragrance in it. It also is a little bit darker of a blue color, which some people love, some people don't like because sometimes during lift, the blue tone can kind of hinder what you can see through the lightener. So always wipe off the lightener and check the level as it's lifting. And then Schwarzkopf is a little bit more gritty this one is a little bit more smooth like icing. They both swell a little bit. Um, I would say they swell up about the same amount. Maybe Danger Jones swells a little bit less than the Schwarzkopf one, but they are very, very similar and very comparable. I will use both of these. And honestly, whichever one is cheaper is probably the one that I'm just gonna stick with in the future. And if I remember right, I'm pretty sure the Danger Jones one is cheaper than the Schwarzkopf one. I like them both, but like I said, whatever one's cheaper is what I will go with. It did a really good job at evenly lifting my hair no matter where I part it you guys can see look at that clean raw lift it did a great job at lifting my roots nine levels for sure I wound up leaving it on around 40 minutes I didn't lose any hair my hair still looks really thick and healthy up here like it did a great job at lifting while maintaining the integrity of my hair my hair feels very soft and healthy if you're going to bleach your hair definitely try to find a bleach that has added bond builder inside so you don't have to worry about adding another step in there that is all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i will try to find this on amazon and leave it linked in the description down below for you guys hopefully we can find it on amazon don't forget to check out my instagram and facebook i post way more of my everyday life on there give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi.